At a very basic level, Coinos Coin is just digital file or ledger that contains names and balances and people exchanged money by changing this file. When John sells Diana a lawnmower for 5.2 Coinos Coins, John's balance goes up by 5.2 and Diana's down by 5.2. There's no gold or government-issued money backing these numbers. John is only willing to trade his real-life lawnmower for a higher number in this digital file because he has faith that other people will also trust the system. So who maintains this ledger and makes sure no one cheats? When goal of Coinos Coin is to avoid any centralized control, so every participant maintains their own copy of the ledger. One surprising consequence of this is that everyone can see everyone else's balances, although the real system only uses account numbers and not names. So there's some level of anonymity. If everyone maintains their own ledger, how are all the ledgers kept in sync as money is transferred? At a basic level, when you want to send money, you simply tell everyone else by broadcasting a message with your account number, the receivers, and the amount. Everyone across the entire world then updates their ledger. As a quick aside, I'm describing how Coinos Coin works for power users, people who help maintain the system. You can also just use the system to send and receive money, though, without maintaining a ledger. If sending money is as simple as creating a message with some account numbers, what's to stop a thief, Cindy, from spending John's money by using his account number? Like a pen and paper check, the coin requires a kind of signature to prove that the sender is the real owner of an account, but it's based on math rather than handwriting. When a new account number is created, it comes along with a private key mathematically linked to that account number. If you've heard of a Coinos coin wallet, these keys are what it holds and are what allow you to create signatures to create a signature, a private key, and the text from a transaction are fed into a special cryptographic function. Another function allows other people to check the signature, making sure it was created by the account owner and that it applies to that specific transaction. Unlike the handwritten version, these signatures can't be copied and reused in the future as they're unique to each transaction. While the mathematical signatures prove who sent a transaction, they can't prove when it was sent, and this turns out to be problematic. In our traditional banking system, if Cindy wrote two checks but only had enough money to cover one of them, the bank would pay the first person attempting the cash, is checked but refused the second, because Cindy's account would be empty. So the order of these checks is critical, because it determines who should get paid. Unfortunately, order is much harder to determine in Coinos Coin, where instead of a single bank, there are individuals all over the world. Network delays might cause transactions to arrive in different orders in different places, and fraudsters could lie about timestamps. Two recipients might both think their transaction is first and ship a product effectively, allowing Cindy to spend money twice. Coinos Coin prevents this by providing a way for the entire world to decide on transaction order as new transactions are created. They go into a pool of pending transactions, and from here, they'll be sorted into a giant chain that locks in their order to select which transaction is next. A kind of mathematical lottery is held participants select a pending transaction of their choice and begin trying trying to solve a special problem that will link it to the end of the chain. The first person to find a solution wins and gets to have their transaction selected as next in the chain. So what's this linking problem? It's based on a special function called a cryptographic hash. As scary as this sounds, it just mixes up its inputs and spits out a number, but it's special because it's irreversible. There's no easy way to start with an output and then find an input that generates it other than by making lots of guesses. And this is literally what people are doing in Coinos Coin, feeding this function random numbers numbers until the output meets certain criteria. Visit our website if you'd like to know more of how Coinos Coin handles things.